Hi, welcome to the 15 inch uh, Libra Yoma 68 laptop which is in a middle of assembly at the moment. So, this is the first time we've had the circuit boards actually in the casework. Uh, where is the keyboard? Keyboard. <laughs> okay, so keyboard will fit in there. Right. Touch panel. This is actually a uh, three and a half inch LCD capacitive touch panel. So the uh, fits get connected fits in there. Goes around that way. Um, I'm going to have to replace this uh, LCD with a one from a different manufacturer because the SPI in the interface on this one I just could not get on with it. Um, uh, no cooperation from the manufacturer. Oh, there's a person there. Hello. Um, so uh, uh, by contrast, I found one that's fantastic price and everything. So we're going to do that. Use that. Um, here's the Yoma 68 CPU card. The button on the side and push and pop the um, the CPU card so you can upgrade. Um, as and when. Um, that's a 1366 by 768 very low cost cheap and cheerful LCD which n very nice characteristic of this you can run it as, at as low as 30 frames per second saving a uh, considerable, considerable amount of power. Um, that's a battery. <laughs> that's from an e-bike. <laughs> an e-bike supplier um, which uh, uh, very kindly agreed to um, an experiment with me to do a um they supply this for, uh, for 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 use in the in the laptop rather than e bikes um it's particular this battery is actually a lithium manganese uh, magnesium one so it's a uh, different uh, characteristics from from uh, um uh, ones that not you'd normally see um these are the keyboard holders those pop in there and there which the on the edge of the keyboard uh, you, I don't know if you can see that there is a clip that the that um, keyboard holder goes into and then there are some uh, slots on the inside of here that those go into on the end there you can see um, one really critical thing one really important thing to find out is if the battery is in does this thing fall over yes or no um, as in fall backwards and fortunately with the battery in it doesn't tip over backwards amazing hooray so we don't have to put in some extra lead at the front of the keyboard <laughs> I've seen laptops with that in. There's one that uh, I bought, I think. Now, um, these are all 3D printed parts. Um, there are 25 meters comprising th a whopping 30 parts in this laptop. It's unbelievable. Um, there's seven, no, nine in the back alone. Um, you can see this, this bit here runs along there. So that's one, two, three four five six seven and then these hinge parts here eight and nine now the back here what i've had to do is split this but this previously was just one part but there is a, a piece inside here uh, which is a friction hinge it's just a, a circular piece with a, a a nib on the end that fits into a channel inside here and what was happening was when the with the plastic being printed in layers along here, um, it, this was splitting. So I turned it round so it's now printing printed this way, and then the bolt on the side holds all one, two, three parts together there and sandwiches that in the middle. So the cable will run for the LCD will run through there, through a hollow in the channel in the middle there, into the, this part, and then all the way along the back, and then into the oh. Um, these two pieces have an additional side effect of pulling these pieces in as I previously mentioned in another video um, because they were bowing outwards um, uh, this part gives some 
structural strength and holds these two pieces together you can see that they're um, just you know they're bridged into there um, that's for the touch panel I'm gonna have to reorganize this and make it um, two parts to sandwich the new uh, LCD touch screen uh, touchpad when it arrives uh, this is for the battery it's a power management board uh, that's going to have to be replaced with a completely new design um, but that fits in there uh, battery goes in underneath here like that fits in there nicely um, yeah there's the keyboard connector that's an STM32F on there um, you've got an LVDS driver chip underneath the cable there C media 108 AH audio USB audio chip a couple of TDA 2822s um, large capacitors which I'm gonna have to take out ah, annoying um, they're too too big the keyboard will I think I'll have to find some replacements for those um, there's a power management chip a USB um, USB current limiter chip underneath there um, and a USB hub chip on here and that's just the CPU card just RAM processor this is upgradable you can just pop it out put it in a different one I've got a quad core 64 bit an all in a64 um, design in this thing and importantly I have a free software endorsable version using the Agenic JZ4775 in the pipeline I've just got to you know do some final checks on that uh, make sure it's working and then we'll have three CPU cards and then there's the micro desktop uh, board as well so this isn't um, this isn't a small project there's a heck of a lot going on <sighs> phew oh yeah bamboo panels still at customs coming soon <laughs>